Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chassis Variant Series, or the Chariot Series. Wolverine, here we are with the final one. Uh, well, for me anyway, probably won't appear that way on YouTube for you, on your feed. This is the 9M. This is from the 3070s, and it's a very straightforward, simple design, but with much higher damage capability than the 6R, and even the later models that used Ultras. This is a heavy PPC equipped uh, version of the Wolverine. Uh, with a single ER medium in the head and a streak six and a cat in the background that has just decided that it's time It's her fucking time to shine. Yes uh, This heavy PPC does about 15 damage, which is the same as a clan ER model uh, Of course in MechWarrior Online's world the damage spreads from the clan ERs uh, ever so slightly It does have a splash effect so it does ten and then two and a half either side whereas I I don't know if I'm right on this, someone can correct me, but I think the ER, uh, sorry, the heavy PPC in the Indosphere Arsenal just does 15 straight up. I don't know if that's changed since, but that's how I was originally told that the clan ones worked. Don't know if that's different. Tabletop, if you got hit by a clan PPC, it did 15 damage, and it just did it to one location, and it was really fucking deadly. That's why the Warhawk is so friggin' terrifying. So, the Indosphere finally getting access to that kind of firepower is nice. And the heavy PPC is a nice weapon to wield, uh, keeping this version, just because that heavy PPC is available. Uh, now, your mileage will vary, because PPC hit detection in Metcorian Line is not reliable, it's fucking awful. It's one of the worst uh, parts of the game in terms of combat, and one of the reasons why PPCs aren't used as heavily in the game, because the PGI have never once gotten off their lazy fucking asses to fix the issues with the head detection on PPCs. I love PPCs, they're my favourite weapons, and I really hope that they fix this shit up in MechWarrior 5 whenever that bothers to turn up, because the heavy PPC is a fun weapon, as is the light PPC. Try the Wolfhound, that's got three of them in the CT, it's, it's gorgeous. Anyway, I do like this build, because it is just a streamlined Wolverine. Shut up, PV! No! Anyway, uh, the uh, Wolverine 9M is a nice, straightforward, simple build. Streak 6 keeps those piranhas off your tail. You've got a laser that's just... I, well, to be honest, in this game, the single laser is kind of perfunctory. It's not going to get a kill unless the thing's cherry red CT, but at that point you probably could have just rubbed him and he'd die anyway. Jesus, Heavey, what is up with you? Shut up, missus! And... Heavey. Anyway... Some people are going to love it, other people are going to be like, why is he talking to his effing cat? God, this guy's such a noob, I hate his channel. Um, so, oh, there you are, you moaning bitch. Right, so, uh, I recommend using this thing. Grab her, grab her, bro, grab her. Alright, uh, she's she's a pain in the ass. So, yeah, the, the 9M is uh, one of those Marit designs. I think it's a smart choice by Marit, using the heavy PPC. I applaud them for this use. Uh, although heavy PPC technology is actually a Cretan design, uh, as I believe so is the light PPC. Basically, the Cretans went very heavy into PPC development, as they did with MRMs, and Capellans all went stealth armor and stuff like that. They, they wanted to be all sneaky boys. And uh, Davian went full on rotary. And I'm not quite sure what the Steiner, what the Lyrans did. I don't know. Probably just went with artillery and more assault next. And um, Marek just. I don't know, Marek's just Marek, isn't it? It's going to screw everyone over by harbouring the word of Blake at some point, so who gives a shit? So, uh, yeah, um, this is, as I said, it's easy, straightforward, can't overheat because the heavy BBC doesn't fire quick enough, the ER medium doesn't generate enough heat, and the Streak 6 is uh, very rarely locked on due to the preponderance of ECM or just the fact that the new lock-on system for missiles makes it slightly tricky to use Streaks. I would actually like them to go back to that missile system and maybe make it so locking streak weapons isn't as difficult as it is for LRMs. I understand the idea of reducing the effectiveness of LRM swarming by making it harder to lock on or longer to lock on, but streak weapons are designed to be used at short range, so you need a quick target acquisition, and it, it kind of impedes the use of streak weapons, unfortunately, this new lock-on system for the missiles. So I'd like that changed, because it's the second biggest punch that this variant has. And uh, it, it's kind of difficult to use, so I'll just like, jump on that urban mech. Obviously, one of the big problems with the heavy PPC, much like the light and any standard PPC, is there is a minimum range you have to be aware of. Below 90 meters, your heavy PPC is useless. So that means you have to engage at, I would say, medium range. It's probably your best engagement range for this uh, variant. Let's be again, whenever the door shut. Anyway, getting distracted. Uh, so the heavy PPC is uh, one of those weapons that's best used when a brawl starts. You want to stay middle of your team. 
have have someone in your team sort of engaging and that gives you the best time to uh, pick and choose your shots because if you end up in a close-up scenario you've got to rely on the street six and the, the brilliance of the er medium which isn't great um so yeah it's it's one of those like scoot and shoot you know pop out and then hit them type next and uh, yeah but the, every hit with the ppc it, they're gonna feel it. it's basically being hit by an energy gauss rifle every round so uh, very good and uh, also earlier i was saying it doesn't have heat but uh, i guess on certain maps the heat dissipation there doesn't really work out i'd probably recommend a couple extra heat sinks that heavy ppc apparently overheats you a lot quicker than i thought it did during the match i didn't really feel the sting of that but maybe looking back on the footage now yeah that yeah that heavy ppc does uh, does overheat you a bit so yeah, uh, this was a good match for me. I like this. Uh, it's also very rarely on Viridian, which uh, very few people pick. Um, I, I like to affectionately refer to uh, the central landmass as the nipples, as it's one of the easiest ways because the two, you know, uh, rock formations jut out like uh, erect nipples there on the on the mini map. So you may as well use them as your focal point. And hell, the map designers wanted you to go there between those two uh, for most of the fights, regardless. The rest of the map is just kind of ignored, especially the big swampy bit that no one ever uses. And uh, yeah, it's it's fun. I like I like fights on Viridian usually because there's too much intervening terrain that it forces it into a brawl scenario uh, rather than picking away at each other with uh, just groups of large lasers or firing missiles at ridiculous ranges like um, say Canyon or Polar Highlands that kind of thing. So yeah, good map. Go on to end on the Wolverine. That's the mediums done. Finished. Oh, the the Chariot series is 50% complete. Going to be going over to the heavies. Going to start with the clans because there's been quite a few in sphere ones the last uh, last set of chariot videos. So we'll get to the clans. Going to start with the sixty tonners, obviously. So that'll be the vulture and uh, there's one of I can't remember. I can't remember if it's the. It's not the linebacker. I don't know clan weights as well as I do in the sphere ones. But uh, definitely the vulture. There's one variant that I can build, and there's another one that I think only has one variant as well. So there'll be two different mechs. I'll get two done in one go. Till then. Have a good week. I'll see you next time. Also, uh, Hebe can kiss my ass.